In today's episode, Lisa asks, which social platforms do you wish you could or are planning to leave behind? Ah, uh, without a doubt, Facebook. On the one hand, as a data-driven marketer, Facebook is one of the richest sources of uh, data and information that marketers can use in order to drive campaigns. The, the Audience Insights tool is invaluable precisely because it contains so much information about so large uh, a percentage of the population. That's really handy. Uh, I was doing some work this past weekend looking at the media diet of uh, people within certain uh, geographic areas and the ability to specify very narrow geographies and be able to extract out the top 100 Facebook pages that those people like and then extract the top year's worth of posts from those pages to do analysis and say this is what people in this geography are being fed for their media. That is valuable information that helps guide things like marketing messaging, political campaigns, uh, product development, you name it. So on the one hand, Facebook is an essential resource for uh, rich data about uh, micro segments of your audience. On the other hand, it is a deeply unethical company that uh, has very little or no regard for users' privacy, uh, has very little or no regard for uh, ethics in general, and is willfully permitting hostile foreign agents to manipulate uh, societies with no serious discernible effort at prohibiting such attacks, frankly, because the money's too good. When, uh, when Russian intelligence approaches uh, Facebook through a proxy partner and says, hey, we want to spend you know, a couple million dollars a month on uh, a campaign to promote far-right parties in the EU for the EU elections. Facebook's like, sure, I'll take that money. Uh, never mind the fact that the overall uh, intentions and the overall designs of what that uh, organization is trying to do are are deleterious and have a clear aim at destabilizing most of Europe, uh, Facebook's not going to turn down that money. Now, the good news is the tide is slowly turning in a couple of different ways. One, uh, users are leaving Facebook uh, more frequently. Uh, Edison Research had a, uh, a report recently that uh, Facebook was bleeding members in the U.S. at the rate of 15 to 17 million uh, people. That is a, a substantial number. And uh, the United States and North America are Facebook's one of Facebook's largest markets. So that tide is slowly turning. And as audience data becomes less available, Facebook is ratcheting down its it, its data availability because of all of the privacy issues. Uh, that makes it less valuable to marketers, which means marketers are less likely to spend money there and will seek alternate opportunities. And so that is what will eventually change Facebook, uh, is that if people aren't going to spend the money there, then the business can't do as well. It does run the risk of uh, Facebook being uh, like the, the cornered animal where uh, it will do anything to, uh, to get itself free of, uh, of you know, declining profits and, and may, may behave more risky in, in a more risky fashion with our data rather than less. That's a, a distinct possibility. The other thing is that other ad networks are providing... Uh, just as good or better results. We are seeing a lot of strong interest and good results in things like podcasting. Uh, YouTube advertising is uh, fantastic if you know how to do it right. Uh, YouTube uh, pre-roll, mid-roll, post-roll ads, cards, true view, uh, all that stuff especially when linked with things like uh, search remarketing is is a valuable channel uh, to look at. Uh, Twitter advertising, depending on the market, depending on the audience, can be valuable. And good old-fashioned email marketing. Yeah, the original social network is uh, is experiencing quite a renaissance. As people start realizing, when you outsource your entire advertising uh, system, including the data, to a third party, you are at that third party's mercy. And we are seeing uh, some marketers 
starting to realize, hey, we should probably own at least a portion of our data in order to be able to uh, advertise in a sustainable manner going forward. So in short, Facebook is is the 800-pound gorilla, and like most empires, it will be doomed from within rather than uh, through external uh, forces. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, what do you do with this information? Get as much value out of Facebook as you can. Um, and if you do have to spend money with them, uh, and, and, and you're okay with that from an ethics perspective of supporting an unethical company, if you do have to spend money with, with them, focus on getting people off of Facebook, which means that run campaigns, spend money to get people onto your email list or to get them to your website where a different retargeting system can, can focus or get them to enroll in an SMS uh, system or a, a messaging bot that doesn't rely on Facebook's messaging infrastructure. And remember that Facebook owns WhatsApp, Facebook owns Instagram. So <laughs> I've seen some people saying, oh, we're, we're, we're leaving Facebook. We're going to, we're literally Facebook. We're going to Instagram. It's still the same company. Um, focus on what you own and what you can control because in the long run, that will be the most sustainable thing for your business. Building your email list, Building your text messaging list, your phone number list, your call list, your direct mail postal list, all of that stuff is stuff that you will have the most value from in the long run. Now, you have to protect that data. Yeah, you have to behave ethically with it. But if you're leaving Facebook because of ethics issues, then hopefully you have uh, your own code of ethics that you strongly support internally. So interesting question, Lisa, and it will remain to be seen what happens over the next 12 to 18 months, particularly as we go through the EU elections, the Brexit votes, uh, the U.S. presidential election, how Facebook is used or misused by uh, hostile foreign parties, and whether that eventually incurs uh, strong regulation uh, on Facebook. And it, I would be willing to bet... Uh, small pastry retail value five dollars or less that if regulation comes to facebook it will be first through the eu because they are much less tolerant of big tech uh manipulating government affairs than than uh the u.s is so keep an eye on that as always please leave a comment in the comments below and subscribe to the youtube channel and the newsletter we'll talk to you soon Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit TrustInsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.